Now, good morning to the morning group and good afternoon to the afternoon group. How are you all today? Now, if you look up there, you can see, look, there's your caterpillars. Can you see up there? Very good, yeah. Uh, so there's the morning group on top and the afternoon group on the bottom. And I might have a look at those a bit later on. Now, today we're talking about, uh, I want to talk about objects. Objects. Now, objects, what are objects? Well, here's a question. What object do you sit on? Hmm? A chair. So that's an object. It's a thing. Here's another one. What object do you sleep in? A bed. Yeah. So a bed is a thing. It's an object. What objects do you use to eat? Well, a knife and a fork, maybe a spoon. And sometimes your hands, sometimes you have to use your hands. So your hand can be an object because it's a thing. So objects are things. So we're going to have a look at things and we're going to compare them, compare, see why they're the same and then see how they are different. So we're going to look at things that are the same, but how they are different. Mm, that sounds a bit confusing, doesn't it? Well, let's have a think. Let's go back to our caterpillars and see how they are the same and how they are different. Now look, you can see our caterpillars on the wall. Ah, uh, there they are. So the morning group are on the top, and the afternoon group uh, caterpillar is on the bottom. There is they're going across there. So how are they the same? Well, they're the same because they are caterpillars. Yes, the caterpillars have the same kinds of heads. Yes, the caterpillars are all green. Yes. So they are the same, and they all have little legs on them, they do. But how are they different? Well, we know they're the same because the caterpillars, they're green and they have red heads. But how are they different? Hmm? How are they different? Well, one is longer than the other. So we're comparing them. We're seeing why they are the same and why they are different. There are more faces on the top one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there are only five on the bottom one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can see the caterpillars are the same, but they are a little bit different. Hmm. So objects can be the same. But they can be different. They can be the same, but they can be different. So we're going to look at some objects. And these things, you might find them in your kitchen. And we'll see why they are the same and why they are different. Okay? That's called comparing. Let's have a look now. I have some objects here on the table. Can you see them? I found them in the kitchen in the school. Yeah, the kitchen in the school. And these are objects so i have one two three four five six now i want you to look at them right look and see can you tell me why they are the same why are they the same what makes them look the same what things about them are the same have a look things that are the same well one of the things about them is they all have handles this object has a handle this object has a handle. This object has a handle. I'll turn this one around. This one has a handle. This one has a handle there. And this one has a handle. So they all have handles, which means you can pick them up with your hand. A handle is something that your hand is for. So look, you can pick it up. So a handle for your hand. A handle for your hand. Right, that makes them the same. They all have handles, yes. And they all come from the kitchen. That makes them the same too, because you normally find them in the kitchen. Can you think of something else? Well, look, they all have space inside. They all have space inside. So each of them has space inside. That makes them the same, yep. Now, what is that space for? Well, I can tell you. It's for liquid. And you might say, well, what is liquid? Well, watch. All these things I can pour things into. There we go. I can pour something into this. And into this. And into this. And into this. Oh, I've no water left. I need to get some more water. Hang on one second. I'll bend down and get some more water. There we go. 
and this one has no water. So what did I do? I put water into each one. So all of these things, they have handles. You can find them in the kitchen and they all can hold water. Now another word for water is liquid. So liquids can be different. That liquid, it could be milk, it could be tea, it could be coffee, it could be orange juice. So we could put all those things in there. So a liquid is something you pour and so we pour these things uh, liquid into all these things, these objects. So that's what makes them the same. So let's think what makes them the same. Well, they all have handles, yes. And what else? Well, you can find them in the kitchen. True, yes, you can find them in the kitchen. Anything else that makes them the same? Yes, what? You can put liquid into them. So if you look very carefully, they all contain liquid. And this case here, the liquid we're using is water. Now, have a little look. Have a little look, have a little think. Now we know why they're the same. What makes them different? Well, let's have a look at them. Mm, there's something about the look if you look at the top of each object, right? There's something slightly different. Do you think the top on this one is the same as the top on this one? No, I don't think so. So I'm going to move that over there and I'm going to move you over there. Now, let's just put these, take these away for a second. So you just come over here. So if we look at this, look at the top, it has a kind of a part that sticks out of it there. So this shape, is this like the shape we did with Veronica, is a circle. And this one has something that's coming out of the top. So if I turn that this way, you'll have a look. So you can see it's slightly different that way, isn't it? I'm being very careful that I don't spill anything, so you be careful if you're trying this. I lift this cup as well, and you can see it's slightly different. Now, so do you know what they're called? Well, this one here is a cup, and this one is you hold the handle up, and you bring it up to your mouth, and you drink. Ah, very nice. This one is not a cup. We don't drink from this one. This is called a jug. What is it called? A jug, yeah. Now, what's a jug for? Well, because it has this extra bit here at the top here, it's used for pouring. Okay, so a jug is for pouring and a cup is for drinking. So, they are the same because they have handles, yes, and they find them in the kitchen, yes, and you can put liquid in them, but they're different because this one is called a jug, it's for pouring, and this one is a cup, it's for drinking. Now, what about this one? Is this a cup or a jug? Cup or jug, cup or jug, what do you think? It's a cup, very good. Now, what about this one? Is this a cup or a jug? It's a jug, so it goes into this group. And what about this one? Is this a cup or a jug? I'll just put it down on the table and have a little look. Circle top, has a handle. It says I love my tea on it. That's a good, idea, good clue. Yeah, it's a circle. So that is also, I'll put that with the cups. So there we go. And we have one left here. Now, look at this one. This one is a jug. Very good. So look, we have one, two, three jugs, and we have one, two, three cups. They are the same because they have handles and they contain liquid, but they are different because one is for drinking and one is for pouring. Yeah, very good. Look, so jugs, one, two, three cups, one, two, three. And that's what makes them the same, and they're different. Now, we could look at the jugs and say, well, these three jugs are the same, but how are they different? Well, these are the same colour, and this is a different colour. So, these jugs are white, but this jug is silver. Silver. And also, this jug is made from metal. Metal. Hear the noise? Metal. And this is made from delf, which is like kind of a clay. So it's a different sound. So that's how they are different. They are the same, but they are different. And they're also different because they're different sizes. So you could have a little look. You could say, well, this is a big jug. This is a middle-sized jug. And this is a little jug or a small jug. Now, if we look at the cups, I think we can say the same about the cups. They are all the same, 
yes, but they are slightly different, okay? They have maybe slightly different shapes, but this one is a big cup, this one is a middle-sized cup, and this one is a little or a small cup. So things that are the same, but are different. Yeah, so remember, a jug has a handle, and this part here, and this part here, do you know that? It's called a spout. Here's my handle, and here's my spout. Here's my handle, and here's my spout. Here's my handle, and here's my spout. I have a handle, but I don't have a spout. I have a handle, and I don't have a spout. I have a handle, and I don't have a spout. Now, yeah, well, things are the same. Now, I wonder if we could count all the objects on the table. Will we count? Let's start with this one. So we go, remember to point. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six objects on the table. Six objects that are the same, but they are different. Hmm. I wonder if you could do that in your kitchen. Find things that are the same, but are different. Have a think. Have a look. There are so many things in your house that are the same but are different. So you could check and have a look. Even like the people in your house were all the same but were different. Some are boys, some are girls, some are tall, some are small, some are loud, and some are quiet. Some have long hair and some have short hair. Some are noodles like all of you and some aren't like me. Ha! <laughs> and some of them have beautiful hair like me and awful hair, awful silly crazy hair, like you, and Veronica, and Taylor, because I have the nicest hair, okay? Now, see, can you have a go at finding things in your house that are the same, but different, and maybe they could be big, middle size, and little. Okay, goodbye, you big noodles. I'll be watching, and I'll talk to you soon.